so good morning guys uh, welcome back to this youtube channel uh, today we want to explore the first capital city of italy like this city is just beautiful i have never like i've been taking for granted i, I live here but like i've never explored it like well and uh, well yeah and today i just thought like that um, we should explore it and show you uh, uh, how beautiful and and uh, how elegant this city is this is this is italy's most elegant city as you can see just from behind here look at those buildings just so beautiful and uh, yeah let's see what we can uh, what we can see today yeah it's big it's big actually I, we cannot explore the whole city just like in one day so uh, well let's let's see what we can do for today and uh, we shall give more continuation maybe next time yeah so welcome back and uh, so enjoy seeing right there that is Turin's main train station like uh, it's a major station here and uh, it's called Porta Nuova and actually yeah those uh, you can get train to like to travel across the country from like this is not you can you can get train that goes up to the south up to Sicily and uh, yeah I would have liked to enter inside but I don't have the mask and um, yeah there are a lot, there's a lot of security definitely because of uh, the coronavirus thing but yeah and don't ask me by the way why i'm not wearing a mask <laughs> like it's so hot so humid and so i cannot wear it. it's so uncomfortable it's so uncomfortable and so like i cannot bear to, to put on a mask and i'm alone i but i'm taking caution and i'm trying to avoid like um, crowded places and and yeah so that's Porta Nuova, as you see there. It's just beautiful. Just look at those arcades there. Yeah, I mean, this city is just built of arcades. Arcades is kilometers and kilometers long of arcades. It's, it's like known for that. It's known for that. Yeah. see the city is mostly built of arcades uh, because the kings like this were originally built for the kings uh, during those uh, during those days uh, the kings didn't like like to get wet and to walk uh, especially when it was raining to walk under the rain so they ordered like this they ordered like these things uh, the arcades to be built in such a way that uh, they can't get wet yeah so just look at that so beautiful so this this is the most unique part of this city it's like it's known for its arcades it has kilometers and kilometers of arcades and uh, it's so beautiful to see as you can see there
Via Roma. This is like Turin's most famous road. Uh, okay, like avenue <laughs> uh, for the like it has all the all the international stores, all the fancy stores you think of, you know. And uh, it's nice for window shopping. It's nice for shopping, for buying uh, beautiful clothes and things. If you want to go for shopping here, this is the place to be. Yeah. So just look at that. This city is so elegant. So elegant. Yeah. Right now I'm at Piazza San Carlo. It's uh, one of Turin's biggest squares here. Beautiful. Maybe in, in one of my YouTube videos I had done it but I was still raw, I was still rookie, I didn't know how to do these things. <laughs> yeah, but I think with time now I'm, uh, we are trying to, to get things better anyway. So just uh, have a look at this. It is as well known here for its custom of staging various historical and social events, including election rallies, concerts, demonstrations, live televisions, and also celebrations of sporting events. The fans of Juventus Football Club do their celebrations here. Now we are in Galleria San Federico or San Federico Gallery. It is very beautiful for its style of tiles and a nice quiet place to grab a cup of coffee. It's not actually far from the piazza we have just seen. 
Piazza San Carlo. It is a few meters. It's a modern, prestigious, and commercial area. It's a destination for meetings, entertainment, and business. It has also a cinema inside, historic shops, prestigious boutiques, modern commercial spaces, and much more. It is definitely a place to be. Yeah, guys, and right now I'm in this beautiful place. I mean, it's just exciting, fantastic, so beautiful. I mean, the architecture, the art, and everything. So these are the old palaces where the king, the kings, like used to reside here. So I mean, they are just so elegant. They're just so smooth, so beautiful, man. Yeah, the attention to details and these things. Yeah, my God. Of course, now they have been like. They have been turned into the national museums. Uh, people can vi can visit to see the, the old architecture and the art, and um, yeah, just nice, just nice. Ah, just have a look, have a look at this. So this right here is Palazzo Reale, and, uh, yeah. and uh, on my other side, on the other side, it's uh, Palazzo Cristina Madama. Yeah, and uh, just uh, so have normally a look. here it's open for for the public, like to visit, and uh, you go with your ticket so that you can see inside. And uh, just at that door there, it's an entrance into the. Um, beautiful garden that's called uh, Giardini Reale, like where the kings used to reside and these things. Yeah, today I'm talking a lot about the kings because this city is just, it's just that. It was, it's basically founded on that. Uh, normally it's uh, free for the public, but now because of uh, the pandemic thing, uh, it's not possible. <laughs> yeah, but I hope one day, I hope one day in these days, maybe they are going to open, maybe in the beginning of June. Maybe we can try to see inside. It's absolutely fantastic, fantastic. Just look at those sites, my God. Yeah. So yeah, actually that one is like the, it's like the main, one of the main also squares. It's Piazza Castello of Turin. Like a lot of events that they are, they are normally carried out here. There are no many crowds and there are no people are uh, not there because of the of the corona thing yeah but normally the lines inside like here there are normally long queues here to enter into this place every day to, maybe as the summer comes uh, along we shall we shall try to see what we can do and uh, maybe take you inside the the giardini reale to see like how it looks
In case you're wondering whom am I with, of course I'm with my bicycle here. <laughs> that's how like that's how I, I am this is how I'm going around the city. This is how I'm maneuvering <laughs> my ways inside instead of taking the bus. It's just it's crazy because getting into the bus you have to have the the mask and uh, yeah you feel insecure a bit and uh, yeah so I prefer using the bicycle and I can move faster. I don't have to wait for the bus and I cover even more place like anywhere the shortcuts and <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's much it's very convenient it's very convenient yeah so this beast here is so helpful <laughs> very much for your time I decided to, to wrap this video here to finish it here because it's getting hotter and hotter and also like uh, the images are not coming so well and uh, yeah I will see you in the next one we shall continue this adventure we shall continue to explore this city is so big uh, not even show you like more I mean just showing you a very small portion of it and uh, there's still more to come so hope we shall continue please stay safe and uh, see you in the next video forgot to tell you please if you're new here uh, please consider subscribing comment and share this video and uh, give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and welcome again